hey, beautiful human, I am Jazz. That we're going to be hanging out with the Kid Leroy. I am a big fan of F Love, which is his album. If you haven't listened, link in the description below. Okay, please leave your honest feedback on this conversation in the comment section. Hit like if you can. And even if you hate us, subscribe. The Kid Leroy. Woo! This interview is being sponsored by Total Wireless. Total Wireless do amazing. I feel amazing. Because the Kid Leroy is here. Let's do this. Hello, beautiful human. Uh, my name is Zach. Daniel is here. Yep. And we welcome the Kid Leroy. Hi. <laughs> hey. It doesn't hit the same over Zoom, honestly. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. <laughs> It really, I, I, I and I, I'm really giving off a lot of energy on my end. I don't even know if it reads properly. It's just the whole thing. But uh, is the 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 kid Leroy? Was it always the kid Leroy, or did the the come last? Did it start with the the? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I've always been the the kid Leroy. I guess uh, people just like to show it or whatever, leave it out, whatever. I don't know. I'm not mad at it. People who call me whatever they want. <laughs> is that true? Is that like, like if I was like, uh, Lori, Kid Lori, you wouldn't be like. Okay, I mean, name. like, I okay, get that's, I okay, get that's like different because it's like, not, it's not even close to the name. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm still not mad at it. I'd just be like, oh, that's not my name. <laughs> you have a really unique accent, by the way. Really? It is- yeah, I, I've heard, I've heard it's like a mix of like a whole different like all these different things because like i'm from australia and and obviously you could probably hear that in so in, in a lot of words and just maybe it's like the main thing but but i've been out in america for a long time and a lot of my friends are like from chicago so i get a lot of like chicago slang in me too yeah because that's how i like communicate with them and like that because you know i say a lot of stuff like when I first came out here, that they just didn't understand. So it's, yeah, like it's Aircon, like, Jumper, like I mean, you, 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 in certain situations, you could be speaking a different language. No, a hundred percent. So I, and you know, I, I realized very quickly that um, that I wasn't going to be able to teach them in their own country how I speak and how to communicate with me. So I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to adapt to how they speak and communicate with them like that. So, yeah. Did you? always feel like you had to adapt because you were born in Sydney, but then you spent a lot of time like in rural Australia. Right. And yeah, I spent like, I spent like about three or four years in rural Australia for sure. Yeah. Don't you have like indigenous, like a fit, like bloodline, like you are, uh, you, you are rooted in Australia. You have very deep roots, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So, okay. Uh, coming over to United States, you have to adapt to a whole different culture whole different way of speaking how does music become an outlet for you or has it always been because your dad has music roots right 100 percent. so um so very i mean b- before i was even born um my i guess my 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 dad was like you know trying to be a singer and or whatever and i guess it didn't really didn't really work <laughs> work out for him uh so whatever like okay, that's his story to tell not mine but anyway whatever regardless it didn't work out came back to australia uh met my mom who was like a like a up like like a like like a, i guess a model she was trying to be a model and, and stuff like that and um they met and uh my dad also knew how to i guess like beats and, and stuff like that so I guess uh he started producing for a lot of like Australian he started getting like you know a, a few gigs doing like um Australian stuff like scoring for like tv shows and 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 and, and, and stuff like that um and I guess him and my mom like came together and, and my mom you know my mom was never like a, a manager or came from management back or anything but but uh she kind of like was like I don't know. My mom, I don't know. I guess I, I don't, I don't really know a lot about that whole side of them, but I guess my mom was like, they found like this artist together and, 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 or this group and they, and then they took him to, to a record label and, and, and got him signed or whatever. And 
again, I don't know whatever happened with that. I guess it fell through as, as well. Uh, I, 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 I sound like I'm like on my parents. Like, I don't know. I, Cause I, 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 just, I just don't know a lot about that side of them, but, but yeah, I guess that fell through and, and whatever I was born. Then when I was like three years old, they like split up. And then like, I guess, you know, I, whatever else from there. I, I guess a lot of people know the story from there on. But yeah, a, a, a lot of people actually probably don't even don't even know that. But I've seen some things on the internet saying like uh, my dad was like a producer for like Nelly or like something like that. And then and 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 and, and I <laughs> that's like completely wrong. He ne- he never like produced for Nelly or like R. Kelly or whatever the 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 the, the, the rumor was. I think it was like there was another Nick Howard from America that was like credited on it. And people like took it and like and like made it yeah, whatever. But but music exists within you, but also in a weird way. Like you know, you are doing incredible things, and you capture that in your music. And you live with your mom, right? Is that still the case? I do. Yeah, I live with my mom out in L.A. I was a uh, you know I. I, me and my mom, we've gone through a lot together. That's like, that's, that's been like my best friend for my whole life. We, we've gone yeah. through a hell of a lot together. And I've, I've, you know, we've been through a lot of tough times. And, and, and so it, when I, when this finally started happening for me, it, it, it was like so good to be able to like move her out here in a way for her to get to focus on her life and, 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 and getting herself back together. And, and for me to be out here making money. And I, I don't know, it, it, it was, it was, it was just like a, it, it was like one of the, one of the, probably the greatest moment of my entire life was to be able to get, get her out here and, and, uh, and, and go crazy. Yeah. But the fact that music was the vehicle, you know, and like it, it, that is, that must be pretty cool. Art and music is what, it's- it's so cool. That's it's it's the best thing because that's the only thing I, I love doing. It's the only thing I've ever, you know, imagined myself doing my entire life. I I could, you know, I, I have a funny story. I uh, when I when I moved back to um to Sydney after after being in 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 the countryside, I moved back to Sydney, and you know, we didn't have a lot of money, and um, so I I, I couldn't get things like you know I, I couldn't buy like you know the clothes I wanted to buy and I couldn't do stuff. So me and my friend Kenny from my 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 neighborhood, um, we got together and we're like, all right, we're gonna go work, we're, we're gonna go get a job so we can get some extra money, help out our moms or whatever, and go and get all the fresh new stuff. Like like, like back in Sydney, like our whole thing was like polo and like Nordica and like Nike and like we we're like so we're gonna go and be able to get all the all the all the crazy stuff. So. Anyway, we, we ended up, we worked for like a, a, a fruit store. <laughs> we worked for this like fruit store that sold like moldy fruit. It was like, <laughs> it was terrible. And we'd, we'd sit in the freezer all day together and like just, just talk and, and it was, it was terrible. I, I, I only ended up working there for about, for about a month or so. And, and then I was like, oh, I'm sick of this. This isn't even worth it. I'm like, I have to make it. I have to do the music stuff. This isn't, this isn't working. So yeah, I, 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 I couldn't imagine myself doing that um, for, a, for, for, for a long time. So that's, that's when I, that's when I started honing in on, on the whole music side. And I was, that's when I like got super determined to like make it happen. And, and thank God it worked because I don't know what I would do if it didn't. Do you know why it worked? <laughs> it's a, such a tough question because I, I guess I could say because I worked hard but I guess a lot of people work hard uh I guess pro, I guess just like good timing um uh uh I guess I you know I, I I was hustling a lot to to make it happen too like I would do stuff like wait out this wait out the front of like celebrities hotels and stuff like that and 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 I remember like me and my mom one night like we were up late at night searching on the internet, trying to find like the number for like young money because like, uh, cause that was my dream to be signed to young money. So me and my mom would be up on the internet trying to find any number or any connection for anything. And, and it, like, so I, I guess like that stuff probably helped. And, and, and I guess, uh, you know, doing all that weird stuff, like stalking celebrities, trying to play my music and, 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 uh, and, and just, you know, I guess, probably my mindset as well like I, I even when like people were telling me like dude you suck you can't do this whatever I was always like they'll still see it eventually they'll see it they'll see it and I, I I kept always kept thinking like I can do it I can do it I can do it I can do it 
And uh, I think that's probably, like, I still have that mindset to this day. Like, obviously, it's, like, it's different. But, like, uh, you know, if I see, like, one bad comment, I'll be like, man, they'll see. They'll see eventually. <laughs> they'll see eventually. That- so, like, I guess keep that mindset probably. But, but yeah, just right timing, meeting all the right people, and just everything just fell into place at the right time, I guess. Yeah. But that mindset is longevity, dude. That mindset – Obviously, that thinking matched with consistency in in so many different areas, I mean, puts you on a path to do this forever. And you're – also, I think your album, Love, I mean, I, I don't know how to say f- with the beep, with the asterisk. I don't know. Is there like – F-Love. A f- F-Love, is that the right way to do it? I mean, I say f- love. I, 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 we just put the asterisk so it can like come, come on playlist and <laughs> – <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I got called a f- club. Yeah, my Australian friends curse more than anyone else I know in this world. No, hundred percent. I I you know what's crazy? Uh, last last week when I was doing uh, like a couple of these different uh, interviews and stuff like that, my my manager texted me because he was on the Zoom and he texted me. He said, "Dude, this is the radio I'm swearing," I was, <laughs> and I literally conquered. Like I I don't think about swearing; it just happens. I'm just uh, yeah. and, and, and that might be a super super uh, uh, Australian thing to do at I've heard I've heard people say that I would definitely agree that 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 we we use uh, we, we do swear a lot but sometimes like even like uh sometimes we say things that uh that that, that aren't even intended harshly it just it's just we just use it as like filler words whatever well, that is that is true and uh what do you, by the way safe space here no judgment you can do whatever you want um Dan freaks out when I say that what are you thinking well, when you were uh, trying to like camp out uh, outside of hotel rooms or trying to meet celebrities in Australia, did that work out for you? Like, was it successful? Yeah, it was. I, I, uh, I dude, I got a song with a boogie before I, 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 I even had like a real following uh, just off of that, and 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 not necessarily coming out of his hotel. But what happened was, I told you guys like when I was in Sydney and and I was going through you know me and my mom and, and my brother we, we're going through a rough time with with money and, and stuff like that but i knew um my guy khaled who is a producer and he, he still produces like a majority of my stuff to this day he um was producing for different things he had some like different success with like producing for like rihanna and he had a couple of like he had a couple of big songs and, and stuff like that uh that he had got placed with and 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 so he was he always like I told him, you know, he and he obviously knew about my situation. He would like drop me off at and 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 you know see all the stuff I was going through, and I was very open with him about that stuff. So he was like, "Dude, I, I want to help you. I, I I can try and get you some jobs like songwriting." So I was like, "All right, cool." So he got me this job with some with somebody uh, to songwrite to get paid, you know, a couple thousand dollars, which then was a lot of money to me uh, to write a song and and this this person who was paying me to write the songs for them uh, was also, I guess, getting a feature with a boogie when he came to Australia. I d- I'm not sure however that worked, but it worked out. So what I did, I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to write the song for them, which I, which I did. I ended up writing this, the song, not, not a boogie's part. I ended up writing the person's part for the song. So I told him when they were in the studio with a boogie and about to show the video, I was like, Oh, you kind of like, you got to get me to come through so I can like, you know, do my move, whatever. So I got in there and I, uh, and I, w- I was super scared to, to play my music, but I, I did it anyway. I, I played a boogie my music and he was like, Oh, this is sick. He like brought me to the side outside. He's like, here, take, take my number. You, like you're sick. Like let's, let's, and then, yeah. And then the next day I came in and made a song with him. Song never dropped. Uh, but yeah, like I, I, it, it, it works. Yeah. And, and, and like just another instance, uh, I was waiting out the, out the front of Sway Lee's, hotel and, and well well Ray Sharma's hotel and uh me and my my older homie who was like 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 24 um he had he he knew a girl who got invited to the hotel so we were like this is perfect we told the girl go up there play our music play our music for for them and uh and and tell them that yeah. we're Australian we're downstairs 
whatever, whatever. So she ended up getting invited to the, the DJ's hotel room and play the music for the DJ. And, and the DJ was like, oh, we'll send him up. Got up there. And then the next day he like brought me around to the show and like introduced me to Sway and, and, and some Jimmy and stuff. And, and even now, like back when and now I, I like linked up with Sway again now that I'm like, you know, quote, you know, like doing well for myself, whatever. And, and, and I linked back up with Sway to make a song and I, and, and we laugh about this all the time because we're like, damn, that's crazy. I remember when you literally, like had no following and nothing. You were just outside trying to hustle your music. So yeah, it's, 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 it's funny. It's a funny time. Yeah. It takes that to be a true artist. And I think an artist is different than like a, a like a, a fad, right? Like, or a, a viral moment. Yeah. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. You've been making music for a long time. You've been moving it and hustling it at all costs because it's, it's everything. Um, Your story is captured in the music you put out there. It's very honest, and you, you talk about that producer Khaled understanding you and knowing your story. Is it important for you to get close to people that you make music with? Because, dude, it, it sounds like it's very much your life, just in a song. No, a hundred percent. I, uh, it's super important for me to work with people that are my friends or, or people that uh you know, that I can vibe with and 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 can kick it with because. Uh, I just feel like it's how the best music comes because you're not trying to force anything. You're not like, okay, we're setting up this session at 1 p.m. We're going in first time meeting and it's like, play me beats. And then like, we just make some average mid. And like, yeah, it's it's like, you don't, it's like no timeline of when you have to make a song or, or, or if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's, and I think it's the, the, that's the only way music should be made. You know, I don't, I, I don't feel like it should be a forced thing or it should be a pressured thing. I feel like you should just be able to make it whenever you want and and do it however you want. So yeah. What is the story behind Pikachu? I got in the booth. I, I told Han I was like, give me a hard beat, like give me some, some with a sample in it or something. We made the beat. And I just had a couple things I needed to just get off my chest at the time. And yeah, I guess it was, it was just more of like a thing. It, it came from a place of just like, you know, like I was feeling like, man, man, like f- everything. Like this is, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess like, cause and, and I, I guess it was cool. Like it, it was, it was a cool moment. Cause I guess like people got to like hear that and like understand, uh, understand a little more because you know a lot of my music and just me in general like a lot of people don't really know much about me as a person I feel like and and or, or, or didn't at least um it was just like my music and people are like oh we want to know more about this person and, and yeah, I remember like seeing like people would like would like try and like theorize like who I was or like where I was from and, and it was like all this thing and people are having all these different different conspiracies like, conspiracies of like where i come from whatever and 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 I, I i you know i obviously haven't told my whole story at all that would take three hours of sitting down and, and explaining but the thing is my thing is i don't i don't want to tell my story all at once that's not that's nobody's yeah. business i'll tell it over time through my music and 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 through interviews and doing stuff like this and and i'll tell it over time you know i'll i'll, I'll tell it whenever the I want to tell it and and that was just how i was feeling when i when i made that song so so yeah i mean you are so young so you yeah. know you can't you i mean you, my story is still being made i'm still yeah, making the story you know what i'm saying yeah i'm well, still I'm, making the story well you're you've you're obviously a very open person i've watched some other interviews and you're you talk a lot about what you've gone through is there anything in your life that's like off limits and like you want to keep that for yourself or do you feel like you're an open book yeah i mean you know there's certain parts to my story that would actually maybe make my story make a lot of sense that I can just never speak on ever. And, and that's just, you know, like personal thing and, and, and just other reasons, but I'll just never be able to speak on which, which sucks because I would love for everybody to, to, you know, to understand it or whatever. But, but at the end of the day, like it is what it is. I, I, you know, I'd rather hold on to that information and, and not, you know, sell myself out just to give that information just because, people are wondering, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I I think, I think it's better when people wonder and when people think they know or, or, or try and discover things because it, it keeps the, it kind of keeps the mystery, you know? Hell yeah. And you write your story the way you want to write it on your time when you're ready. Um, 
I do wonder, did teachers really look down at you? Like, did they really yeah. tell you weren't going to be anything? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like in, in primary school, I guess like the teachers kind of, kind of me. I, I, I think they kind of liked me because I was like, I was like working really hard. And then I got, I got, I got to, I got to high school and like, well, I guess what y'all call middle school. And, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, I also, ha I was going through a lot of stuff at home and, and personally and, and stuff, which I guess wasn't helping me with my school stuff. And, and I also wanted to do this whole music thing. And, and I guess I, you know, I was getting, I was failing my classes and, and whatever. And I remember this specific teacher took me aside in her office and, and, you know, cause I, there, it was a video on Facebook that I, that I put out and uh, it got a couple hundred likes and I guess that the school saw it. And it was me talking about like stuff, like I was talking about crazy stuff, like my mom doing drugs and like about just like some crazy uh, that like, you know, it, it was, it was super out there and it was like, and, and you know what, I, I listened to the song like no longer. I was like, damn, that song barely even made sense, but it was just a lot of like, it was intense. And the school I was going to at the time was like a, you know, super Catholic, like, kind of like a lot of rich kids went there and and it was like you know they never really there was that was a bit of a shock to them you know seeing yeah. that type of stuff and 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 you know they obviously you know they they like schools like that I, I I've always you know my mom's always kept me in, in in nice schools and 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 tried to keep me in the best schools and stuff like that my whole life no matter what she had to do you know put put her life on on, on the line for that stuff and but all this, all, every school, like they never really accepted me or my family because they knew, they, you know, people had they knew an idea. what was going on. Yeah, they, 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 they had an idea that I wasn't like, the, you know, or my family wasn't like the rest of the families. You know, they would, they would get together and have like, you know, mom, mom meetings and stuff like that. And my mom was never, you know, my mom was never like that. My mom's not a part of that scene. So they, you know, I was kind of always looked down upon in those schools as kind of like, the oh like the the outcast kid or whatever so so she I remember she brought me aside in her office and she said you're gonna have to quit music she she looked me in the eye and she said you're gonna have to quit music or you can't go to this school and yeah and I said that's ridiculous you can't I was like you can't stop me from making music and 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 it was like a whole thing she called my mom and she's like L L well Charlton Charleston yeah. has to has to has to stop making music and I was just like it's ridiculous and you know I guess whatever imagine I, if you I, did I, imagine if you listened I, I've, I've never been one to listen to people so I'm glad I didn't do that you know it's really funny uh I was also abused by a catholic school a group of teachers uh, my mom was <laughs> not like any of them either and then I went on yeah. to high school where I also suffered a lot of problems and I remember within the my freshman year of high school, I went from a Catholic school of 80 kids to a school of like 2,500, 2,700. And I remember very specifically them calling my parents and saying, Zach needs to get off the radio. Zach needs to stop doing this show that he's wow. doing. And he needs to focus on his school and he needs to stop doing this. And I think to myself, am I, at one point my parents wanted to stop me. And it was like, holy shit, you know? Yeah, my, my mom, my mom, my mom, uh, I remember – the teacher called my mom and my mom was like are you serious like why that's ridiculous my mom's always been a big supporter of me like uh -huh. by the way like my mom's always told me you can do anything you want and my mom is one of my biggest inspirations just in life seeing the way she would create something out of nothing and 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 just and be able to always like provide and, and do stuff and that's one of my biggest inspirations in life and I think that's the reason why I have the mindset that I have and I, and, and I do the things that I do um so yeah, she was always like, "How are you gonna tell my kid that?" <laughs> yeah. So, do you yeah. feel like what? What do you understand? What fuels your want to like? I don't want to say overshare, but to just share because even at a young age when you're going to that school, like it is a big thing to just put a video out and in your in your music, really talk about all these moments that exist. Well, and that's the thing I was so scared because I knew that you know, and obviously, and by the way, when I might have forgot to mention, like is that kids at the school didn't like it either. Like they would, they would like be like, what the hell? Like, you know, obviously again, they weren't, they didn't, they weren't, they, a lot of them didn't even really understand hip hop then, you know, a lot of them didn't even understand what that was. This was like 2015 or 2016. Ooh, my bad. When like, uh, 
when like you know that scene was like you know like like in terms of like the new wave scene was like really just starting to come to the forefront and a lot of them were like like i remember when people at my school were like man little uzi but sucks like no saying that and i was like no nah, he's fine da, 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 da. remember like no nah, he sucks those same kids, like, I bet you they have Lil Uzi as their profile picture now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it, like they didn't get it. They didn't understand that stuff. And, and, um, and yeah, so they, they wasn't rocking with either. And so, of course, and, and I knew they wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I knew they wouldn't. I just knew it wasn't. So I, I was, all, I was definitely scared to do it. But I was, I was like, at the end of the day, why, you know, why am I going to let somebody else, whatever they think, stop me from doing what I want to do? And even though, yeah, like, Hell yeah, I got like, you know, I would walk down the, the car, would like scream my song at me, like being funny, like, you know, trying to be like, oh, and at the end of the day, yeah, it, it, it made me feel like, but at the end of the day, look at where I am now and, and look at where they are now, you know what I'm saying? So what, and I always kept that mindset, like, you know, one day it's going to be different. It's going to be different. And so, so yeah, whatever. Yeah. Those same kids though are probably walking around claiming you. Yo, I went to high school with the kid Leroy. Yo, I know him. Yeah, really yeah, cool. bro. I've, I've, de- I've definitely got a few DMs in my request. I've looked at my request and said, "Hey, man, I used to go to school with you. Um, I'm proud of you. What you doing?" I, I click on a promo. I'll be like, "Yo, this kid hated me," and I'm literally just like, "Yeah." What is music like? What is sharing this with the world through your through music mean to you? Is it therapeutic? Is it healing? Does it allow you to move on? Like, what is it? It's therapeutic for sure. It's it's something like I can just go in and, and you know, I, I hate talking about my feelings and the way I feel in this normal conversation. And I I, I can't stand that stuff. I think it's so awkward. And I, I don't want people to, A, look at me differently or look at me funny for feeling those type of ways or, or, or B, like, I just don't, I, I hate people being like, oh, I can help. Like, I hate that. Like, for some reason, I, I'm not very good with accepting help and stuff like that. So I, I've never been able to do like, you know, stuff like talk to my friends for real, or, like, go to a therapist and stuff. Because like, I don't know, I just, I'm, I've just never been like that. So music is definitely a way for me to like, just get everything out. And you know, if anyone says to me, like, you know, for example, I make a sad song about how I'm feeling, someone says to me, yo, dude, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, dude, it was just for the music. <laughs> like, that was my way of, like, avoiding that conversation in general. You know what I'm saying? I still do that to this day. So, <laughs> so. um Do you feel fulfilled so, after it's out? Like, do you feel like the, convers- like the conversation's over? Like, it doesn't need to be had anymore? Sometimes. It depends what it is. Yeah, it depends what it is. But, yeah, I, I mean, just getting those feelings out in general, it just helps me and it helps my mind and, and helps me to, just keep moving on with life so so yeah how does your music change moving forward because you are in a completely different place now than you were a couple years ago so you said how does it change moving yeah forward? because like your life's different i'm you're not you're not yeah. experiencing the same things as you were growing up 100 percent. well you know that, and that's the thing i think a lot of maybe artists you know a lot of people like always say to me like they'll always come to me and be like oh man like what do you think of this guy's new music like he he, he kind of fell off <laughs> and I'd be like, well, maybe he's just not going through anything. Maybe he's maybe he's content. Maybe he's really content with where he is in life. And maybe that's what it is. I think I think that shows, you know, in music. And and uh, luckily, you know, even though I'm 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 becoming I'm, I'm on my way to being super successful and and whatever and stuff's moving quickly. I I, I feel like I'm still going through, you know, certain things. That I, I I I still battle with with a lot of things, like you know, in terms of like mental health and other things, like girls and and just other problems. And and I feel like that you can always find something to talk about if you look deep enough. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, but it, it's just music moving forward for me is just about my life and whatever I'm going through and and whatever's happening in in my life at the time. And I feel like if there's ever a time where I stop going through something or I feel so content that I'm just like, oh, I'm happy with everything, then uh, then maybe, I don't know, maybe it's time for me to stop or something. I don't know. By the way, just because you're driving a car the same color as Pikachu doesn't mean everything is perfect, right? It's like... Yeah, 100%. And that's what people like, people like, my car's like, why, why are you sad? You're rich. You're successful. Like, dude, what the you saying like, <laughs> you, you, you you're telling me you can't feel sad when you when when you have money or you, you, you can't feel sad when you're successful i you know it's crazy 
I have, you know, I've, I've been through so much growing up and, 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 and you know what, I've felt some of the saddest I've ever felt while I've been in a great position, which, which is so weird, but, but it is what it is. Like, I, I've, I've, you know, cause I guess like people don't understand. People just see what they see on Instagram. People just see what they see in the music videos or, or whatever. People, people don't see the, the, you know, the stress that goes behind it. You don't, you know, you figure out who to trust. You, you figure all these new people are coming around. People don't understand all the, all the ins and outs of behind the scenes that, that can, somebody up more than than anything you know what i'm saying so so yeah what do you do when you feel sad do you write music do you cope how what do you how do you deal i i write music i listen to music i cry in the shower (laughs) hey (laughs) um yeah but i I mostly just write write music and, and and listen to music and and it's crazy when i'm sad i'll listen to to music and I'll, and then I'll get inspired to make music, and it'll and it'll help me get through it. It's, yeah, it's so weird how the whole process works. I'm just like, and then I'll get inspired, and it'll just make me feel better about myself because I'm like, oh, I'm sad. At least I can turn this into something good. <laughs> yeah. Are you still kind of freestyling everything when you record? Yeah, yeah. For for the majority, I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll take my time and I'll write it, but yeah, when it's just me and here with the engineer, yeah, I'm just recording yeah can you i've always wanted to talk to somebody that, did, that worked like that can you explain like how how that works um so it's like i'll come in usually uh i'll tell my boy han for example say hey um pull up like pull up some loops like some or like some some instruments or something and he'll play something on the piano or like he'll pull up a loop somebody sends him and i'll be like oh yeah that's sick um, and then I'll like go on the microphone before we add any drums or anything. I, I like to record it just like simple without drums before I put the drums in. Cause I feel like it, it just, it gives me more room to like move on it and stuff like that. And so I'll just go on there and just anything I'm feeling or thinking, I'll just say it and I'll just keep punching it in and keep punching it in. And then at the end I'll have all this stuff. And then if it doesn't sound right structurally, I'll 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 go back and I'll structure. I'll be like, okay, this part needs to go here and this part needs to go, and I'll I'll do whatever with it. But but yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. So is it like a you need to be in the moment thing, right? Like you can't do that if you're not feeling that, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Well, for me at least, I can't really do it if I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Was the entire glove project done like like that? Yeah, um, yeah. For for the most part. For the most part, the only the only one that probably wasn't was uh, the goodbye song, and um, that was something where I came in to the studio and um, I, I I wasn't even meant to come in at at that time. I was early and I and I heard that hook, you goodbye, you heard me for the last time, and and there was like there was like other lyrics after that in the hook that I changed and I and I was like I changed to suit it for more me and for how I was feeling because it was like something else like got a new vibe and she's so fun or something like that I I don't know what it was but I changed it and I said yo I need I need I need this hook like I'm, I'm feeling this right can I please and so yeah um took that and just made it my own and then wrote wrote my verse and like like freestyle my verse and stuff like that so for the most it was kind of freestyle but but like someone else started that that hook idea yeah so and then uh and then i sent it to mdk and whatever but yeah for the most part all the rest of it was just was just freestyle yeah that's crazy listening to it you would never expect that it looks like you just sat down and puts i'm sure obviously a ton of work into well, it well and, that, and that's that's including savage too but but the first love project um like w- without the savage extension was yeah that was all me just just freestyling and 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 just going yeah and doing everything so yeah I, I, how do you keep track of all of it <laughs> like you know like do you just go for like an hour and see what you get and then it's like a puzzle or do you know at all i kind of when i hear something i have an idea of where i want to go with it and then whatever comes out just comes out and yeah sometimes I'll nail it first go and it'll be like, it'll all sound nice and structurally nice. And sometimes I'll just have to go in and move stuff and get other people's opinions on like, Hey, does this part sound right here? And then just, you know, I, I think music is like, music is a, is a, is a, should be a collaborative process. You know, I, I feel like artists get in this thing of like, a feeling like 
you know, everything has to be, everything has to be old you. Like you, you have to structure the, you have to st- do everything. Like, I don't want advice from, ev- from anybody. I don't care what anyone thinks. This is what I'm doing. And me, I want to get, I want to make the best music possible. I want to make the best stuff. And, and for me, like, I'll go in and I'll say, I'll sing how I feel. I'll rap how I feel. I'll do all that. And then afterwards, I'll ask my friend, like, hey, does this sound right? Like, should I move this part to here? And they'll be like, they'll say, yeah. And if he says, yeah. And if a a couple of people say, yeah, I'll take their word for it. I'm not going to, just because you you, you see what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to stop them from helping, you know, like say like, for example, I do a, I, I do a verse and a hook and they think that the hook should come before the verse everyone else agrees and it's like yeah and and i you know for me to even ask you know I, I'm, I'm already debating so i feel like if i have to debate then yeah it probably is you know but it, I, I mean of course if i'm so sure about something then I, I do like it the way it is but 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 yeah I'll, I'll, I'll always take notes from people like from people i trust at least you know well, that's it I, it's a process like, to find those people right yeah yeah 100 percent. like I, I don't just go on the street and be like hey dude do you like this like no <laughs> I, I, it's people i trust musically like people i work with like you know producers and and, and and stuff like that and i'll ask them like hey you think this sounds right here and and, and and whatever because i feel like once once i lay down the feeling and once i get out my words and get out my feelings then 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 from there it's it's just about making the best song with that, with that already. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's no world that you live in where you could ever, could you embody somebody else's lyrics or is this a, a you need to only tell your story when you choose to open your mouth and rhyme? Like, do you get know what I'm saying? Well, like I was telling you with the, for example, the goodbye song, like it, like, I don't like if I come in, and I hear something that I feel so much like, damn, this is me. This is what I want to tell. Obviously, I'm not going to take the whole joint and just like, and uh, unless it's like, you know, I'm not going to take, I'll, I'll obviously always put my own thing to it. And, and it hasn't really been a lot of times I've, I've done that. If I'm being honest, it's only been like with the buy song in terms of what I have out right now. That's the only song I have out that I that that was already like a pre-existing idea that I was kind of like I, I like this and uh but but and but yeah the, the the goodbye song um I heard that and I have goodbye you heard me for the last time and that's how I was feeling and that's what I was you know that's what I wanted to to, to put the message across anyway and the lyrics after that obviously I wasn't you know vibing with and it didn't feel like me so I I did what I would would do and I, and then and then that's what the song is you know what i'm saying so i i think you know if, if i think if someone's if someone starts something and and it and it is my message and it is how i feel and it is what i want the people to hear then yeah again like i said music is a collaborative process and and if if they can if, if someone else can explain what i'm feeling better than than me mm. You know what I'm saying, or at least a part of the explanation, right? Yeah, a, a part of the explanation. Yeah, of course. Like in terms of a part of the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like part. If if I hear a part, I like. I'll be like, damn, I really like this. Can I use this? And you move on it. Yeah, and yeah. you get inspired from it, and you build from it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, yeah. A lot of it is like inspiration. Got to inspire. I got inspiration from those couple lines, three, two, three lines, and I did the whole song i was like damn because it inspired me so much so yeah so what i want to know is you have an album out called love but then shortly after that you're now you're now in a relationship how's that happen uh well the thing the thing is about love i've learned well i I, the thing is with me like i don't think before i think right now i'm in love but i think it's the first time i've ever really been in love like the, the the times before I've liked a girl and I, and I, I, I've really liked a girl and they've like done some like dumb to me and, and, and whatever and, and hurt me. And that's why I was feeling like love because like, I don't even want love. I didn't even want love at that point. I was like, like I'd never even felt real love, but I, I was like, love. like I, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I literally just put out the project and, and then I, I, you know, I met this girl that I really like, and I tried to fight the feelings as much as I could, but I feel like you just can't, like, 
sometimes you just have to accept what you feel you know what I'm saying and that just is what it is and I feel like love like comes at the most like weirdest unexpected times and uh yeah it is it is it is what it is but but yeah hopefully it works out because if it doesn't we're gonna be in love too (laughs) well do you learn anything about love from love once um I still I like okay I still like I'm not just like blinded by love now I'm like oh my god now I'm in love I forget everything I've ever gone through with other girls because I don't and and you know what maybe that's the problem is that I you know I can sometimes reflect in my relationship and be like you know like I have a lot of trust issues so I want to even if she's telling the truth I still don't trust it because just because I just won't let myself be let down. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's kind of, but I'm walking through it, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. I'm walking through it because I'm young and I've still got like so much life ahead of me. And I, like, I I don't, I don't want to let like girls in the past when I was like 15 and 16, like determine the rest of my life. But, you know, again, you can't fight your mind. You can't fight what you feel. And, 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 and that's like one of the things that always like just, fights at me all the time so so yeah well you know tragic is a great record and you, you i want to tell like do you think about your the way life used to be for you often or do you try to remain present i definitely always think of like well no not always actually to be honest. I'm, I'm i really like live just in like the moment like what i'm what i'm like living in right now and i i sometimes actually tend to forget when I say forget, like sometimes it just won't be on my mind, but then times I remember like, damn, like I literally remember that it's crazy. And I'll just start thinking, I'll go through like a whole spiral in my mind and be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, I can just think about all the things I went through and, and, and how far everything has come. And it's crazy. Cause like, yeah, it's crazy. I do, I do, I do reflect on that quite, quite a lot, at least, at least once a week. <laughs> it's healthy. Um, Love. I thought it was very strategic that you released 22 songs, a very long album, but a, a running time of only 47 minutes. Yeah. Um, so y- you had a lot of chapters in there, but it wasn't the long, you know, it, each song is not super, super long. You know what I mean? Like that's, it's a lot of songs, but like the whole album, if you listen, like I did a couple times, top to bottom, it flows very cohesive. Yeah, for sure. Well, the thing is, I, 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 I don't, I know like, you know, people's attention spans are like short and even mine, you know, I know how I am and I don't ever want people to feel like, oh my God, like get like halfway through the song and be like next. <laughs> so I, so I, I, uh, I wanted it to be like, I wanted people, I wanted people to listen from front to back and like get the full experience of like, you know, I wanted to bring people into my world. So I, I didn't want to make it like a f- effort to have it, to have to listen to it. I wanted people to just listen to it and feel like it's going you know I, I wanted it to feel at, at a right time i didn't want it to drag on any longer than it should so yeah there's a story top to bottom in the in it right yeah listen yeah there's a link in the description below you should listen to it if you haven't but hopefully you have um so done is uh one of the singles you have so many singles there's like a there's a couple. A lot of them are raising their hands. People love. People love Kid Leroy. Uh, really? Is it weird to think about that people do love you and, and and find escape in the life that you've lived and you've chosen to write about in your art? Uh, it is. It's just weird. Like it's weird because like I'm just like a regular dude from Sydney, Australia, and it's weird to think that people love and look up to a regular dude from Sydney, Australia. I feel like it's weird because I I think people might have this whole, like, you know, some people might think I'm like a superhero or something like that. uh, When I'm really just like, you know, I'm pretty literally no different to them in terms of like, you know, how I feel and like the stuff I do, like, I, I, I don't ever look at the stuff I do as like, oh, wow, like, no one else, I feel like er- anybody can do any anything I do, it's just, I don't know, I don't know, it's it's weird, because, like, when, when you're yourself, and, like, I don't know, I just don't, I just don't understand, you know, the whole thing about, because I've been living with myself for my whole life, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, damn, this guy's not that f- 
pull. He's not, he's not that interesting, but some people think I am. Whatever. And I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky to have that. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't, uh, I don't fully understand it just being myself. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I totally, I, I totally get it. You really are just living and you're choosing to write songs about it. I mean, um, one of the things that makes you also very interesting is like, there's not that many rappers that have succeeded here in America and globally yeah. and from Australia and you've been able to do it and you're so young still. That's that's sick. Also, that was that was my whole goal too. Like growing up, like I was like, I want to be the, I want to be the first one to really do it, uh, for real. So yeah. Well, and by the way, not just rappers, but artists. I mean, dude, I know the artists that have come out of Australia. They're great. Guy Sebastian's awesome, but he's not the Kid Leroy. I'll tell you that much. You know. Thank True. you. Shout out to Guy Sebastian. We love Guy Sebastian. He's like a, he's an Australian legend, right? He yeah. is the Australian idol. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Have you done Kyle and Jackie O yet? I did. I did them the other day. Oh, well, are they like nice to fellow Australians? Like, are they? I love them. Like, I'm obsessed from. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. They're, they're the best. I love them a lot. Okay, I don't know if they they, they f- around with people. I really. Uh... Well, they were nice to me, so that's good. Yeah. Um. Final thoughts, Daniel. What are you thinking? No, man, I just think everything you're doing is, is, is awesome. I think it's so good. I just, I just can't wait to see what you're, you're putting out next. I know you've been teasing it on Instagram. Thanks so much, man. Yep. Are you writing every day? Do you have a scheduled or does it just come when it comes? It just comes when it comes, but yeah, pretty, pretty much every day. Pretty much it just comes every day, <laughs> but, but, yeah, but sometimes I'll go like three days without making a song if I'm not feeling it. Just, you know, but yeah, so far every day has been, been pretty good. So, how how many songs are you sitting on? Oh God, maybe like a thousand. <laughs> you we you can ne- you can never music. make music again and put out albums for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not good albums though. <laughs> yeah, a thousand. How are they broken down? I mean, do you have like a tiered system of? Oh, dude, from- they're everywhere. I don't even know that they're everywhere. Like. Yeah, I'd have to like look deep if I wanted to find some, so some of them. <laughs> wow. Just wondering at this moment, it, the year is 2021. The month is February. Um, how do you measure success today? Success to me is as long as my family's right, my money's right, and my family's right, my money's right, and. Uh, and I'm and I'm living right, like I'm fine with myself and mentally everything's good. I think that's real success right there. Hell yeah. Do you think you always defined it that way? Like maybe three years ago, four years ago, two years ago? Probably not. It's maybe in Pikachu colored cars, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Dude, I have a lot of respect and appreciation for you. I, I thank you for taking the time and I hope you come back and share albums I, i'm whenever albums drop please come here uh very excited for whatever is next let's do it bro yeah you come to our studio we'll be we'll be covid uh compliant and safe hopefully you get this vaccine by the summer dude I'll, I'll, if they said you got to put it in your eye i'd be like wherever you want to go just get it in there <laughs> i don't care you're crazy i am final thoughts daniel do you have any no, man. Just can't wait to see what's next and have you in the studio one day. Yeah, so EPs, albums, songs, like, do you have a strategy at all that, that you want to set forth? I'm um, just working on getting the best music for us, and then I guess from now we'll just figure it out, plan it out. Beautiful. Hey, the Kid Leroy, don't f- <laughs> try it out. I appreciate hey, it, man. Thank you so much for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, beautiful human, thanks for watching our full interview, but I get it. Like, a full interview is a lot, so we got a clips channel. We don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore, so we just gave you the highlights. Please, subscribe, and uh, notifications, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.